Hello everyone, this is Anna from 8 Bytes and welcome back to Fire Watch. Today I have a book on my hand, I don't know why. I'm going to throw it away. There. Let's go to the cave. To the cave. A hat again. Put it on. A coat. Let's go. Hello. Hello. This is cooler. This walkie talkie. More retro. More old school. Like myself. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay. North. North. Where is north? That's north. That's north. Like this. Explore the cave. My bathroom. Just follow the path now. Let's go, Henry. Lila. She won't pick up. Pick up, pick up. What is there in the cave? I'm very curious. You, you didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout? No. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Cave. Oh, let's see. What's in here? I have the key now. Use key. Oh boy! Some alien shit! Some max file shit! What the hell? What just happened? Did someone just close me in? Oh boy. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Oh boy. Oh boy. Reception. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, what is this? Loose rocks? Yes. Yes. Okay. Shafts of light squeeze through. Any bats here? Or maybe Batman. This is the bat cave. It's freezing in here. Or an alien. <laughs> here I go with the aliens. I'm watching too much X-Files. Oh, do I have to go down there? Let me see. First up, then down. Where will this lead? Nowhere. Wait, wait, wait. Is this a way out? <gasps> okay, a way out. Let's go. Hey, hey, are you there? 
Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Okay. That doesn't sound dangerous. Heading back to Two Forks then. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So I'm here south then. South. Can I go up? Shit. Wait, what the hell is this? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Oh yeah, dragon and shit. Animal nest. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it was My rope, quite elaborate. Our camera. I it's have the camera now. It's some Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Gonna keep that. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. That's pretty awesome. Is that Freddy Krueger on the top? <laughs> Your head shit. <laughs> okay. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? <laughs> it wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. <laughs> well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, oh. boss. Oh, boss. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water oh. on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because <sighs> a kid was up in two forks. I lied. So cool, it's just like a rubber. said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Beep. <laughs> he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Oh. <gasps> Video game. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah, I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. Wait a minute. <laughs> His brain messing with us. Is it Brian or Ned? There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. 
Oh, gosh. And also, he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Gonna hold that. That is useful. Okay. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? Oh, I wizards found a, uh, and I guess weavers. a data sheet weavers. for one Gladius Silva, weavers? half elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Gladius, Gladius Silva. <laughs> Stamina and shit. This is cool weapons. I'm gonna hold this. He also stole his dad's climbing equipment, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <laughs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. <laughs> Poor kid. Didn't want to do any climbing. I should pretend to lose them. <laughs> He's nice. Such a cute. Thank you, Ranger. Fiesta. Reward will be good. <laughs> Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian oh. possibly going through this crap, I get I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Can I put up all this in a? Do this for the kid. One more. Okay. It's nicer now. Are those comics? Those are comics. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Black band. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. The stone. Huh. Okay, so since Sir Brian Goodwing happily gave us that climbing gear, I'm going to try and go to the cave again. Oh, okay. Yes! It's doing its job right now. Cool. What do you think is in there? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? <laughs> a, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yeah, especially now that I'm thinking about all the fun ways to be killed. I'm sorry. Look, at least whoever locked you in doesn't know you've gotten out. Hopefully you find whatever they're hiding in there, and it'll be worth the risk. Huh, <laughs> worth the risk. That's because she's in the air. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Oh. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, <laughs> landed in jail. 
Okay, that's good. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Come on. Let's go. Now it's real. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, let's try this out. Let's see what's down there. Let's see some ETs. <laughs> or probably not. Should I go where? Here or here? Uh, okay, let's do that then. I'm not sure if it's Brian. Fucking around with us, or maybe what? The dead is crazy? I don't know. It's so freaking weird, this story. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Ah, oh, shit. Are you. Oh, God. It's the kid. Crypto-Castle. Oh no, it's so bad. You fell. Shit. Oh. Okay. Do not wake up. This is awful. Can't I tell Delilah? Okay. So who the hell tripped me down here then? The dead? Or someone who doesn't have anything to do with these guys? Have to, re to report this to Delilah. Try to not get myself killed in the process. Hello? Okay. Does the dead even know that his son is dead? Probably not. Oh, okay. Ok, 
Okay, let me report this. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. Yep. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. What do we do now, D? I mean, are you okay? No. I'm not. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Oh shit. She's in a big trouble now. Am I going away? No, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire? 2%? Or the site fire Only 2%? Or... Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. Oh boy. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About what happened to Brian. I don't have much to say. I'm fine. I'm sad. I'm whatever. I keep thinking about him down there and... I just want to get far away from here. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Until then, could you follow that signal? Maybe? Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us, who whoever made the tape. Okay, yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. <laughs> no, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be <laughs> safe, Henry. <laughs> what the hell is this beeping then? Hell is this? Is it Ned? What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. 
You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Okay. So after this I have to hike to her lookout. And meet her. Finally. The suspense is killing me! Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. What? About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down a lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you got to know I didn't kill him. All right? We were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us. Just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone. He's deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The... Because he killed Brian. No. Because he killed his fucking son. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Holy fucking shit. So it was Ned all along. I guess he's been dumping trash up here for a while. <laughs> Is he here? Oh boy. Maybe not. He was. Oh, these are the magazines from the girls. So he did he did that to the the campsite, their campsite. He held on to some of Brian's things. His wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. He Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. Brian was a nice looking kid. Yeah. Poor kid. He wrote down everything he did to us. 
and everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I bet. Steph return in August. To do, return borrow the equipment, erase the evidence, leave no trace. There's a trace. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Okay. <laughs> Why? The Lilas. And mine. Some supplies. Winter needs eighty nine. Cord, food, jackets, blankets. That they you boots socks socks socks. Summer weight gain goal. <laughs> this boombox looks familiar. It's from the girls. From the girls. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing. Fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. Electronic junk. Oh, from those motorboats, maybe. Beer can. Radio logs. Our radio logs. For stranger, fly fishing at J Lake. Reminder: rainbow hitting cat flies. Salma agrees on morning hike. Rainy week. Brian's birthday. So for stranger of the year. Haven't left base in two weeks. Three weeks. Big hike tomorrow. Cave. New lookout in 2F. Henry 2F. Saw two F coming out of cave. D calling for a hikers list. Delay her, she'll forget. Hike to Brian Point. To Brian. No, it's BT. Well, whatever. Dalala never called for a hiker list. Re rigged the Lena to pick up a dual frequency. Can hear D and 2F concurrently. 2F hike by cave. He seems less interested. 2F Jules. Julian? Julia? Okay. He's talking about my wife. 2F is a good guy. Haven't seen Mamba Grease in two. Moss? <laughs> Months? Is it? <laughs> D. Drunk again. <laughs> Get a room. Reminder. Scout migration due to fire. Fucked up. Do not want to leave. Reminder. Hide supplies for migration. The N2F suspects a conspiracy. Funny. If not dire. Observe and be ready to leave. Idea. Start working on reports. Record all comms. Vandalize this tower. Pin on 2F. Try to make remo remote recording device. Uni research site. Move. PTA against each other. 
I'm not getting why he's doing all of this. Stakes too high. No one will believe B was happy. Make D plus 2F less believable. 2F crazy like wife, not a good guy. Mum agrees back, they heard me. Fully believe there is a program. Use this reports final, make sure they find them. 2F almost caught me at site. Reports worked. Recorded call, used for leverage. 2F found supplies, how? Keys gone, can't let to f 2F find B. Wait, can't let Henry find Brian? Why? Maybe he did kill him. I don't know. It's weird. He had quite the view. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. He could see your lookout. Oh, and that's mine. He okay. could see my lookout. You could see both lookouts. Sneaky bastard. Okay, everyone, so we are starting to figure things out. We found out that Brian is already dead. He supposedly fell. But we are still not sure because of all these notes that, um, that Ned left behind. So apparently the guy just went cuckoo because of his son's death and is just trying to mess with our, our heads as well so he won't be alone in all this craziness. I don't know. This is how I see it. Maybe you guys can share your theories with us in the comments below to try and figure this out before the last episode. I'll see you guys there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye!